Cruz. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Ms. Clark, when, when you testified before this committee and when Attorney General Garland testified before this committee, you both promised to be nonpartisan and impartial. I'm sorry to say that I think neither of you have lived up to that promise. Within weeks of President Biden being sworn in, the Department of Justice dismissed a civil rights division lawsuit it had against Yale University for explicit racial discrimination. Yale has a policy that discriminates against Asians and Americans in admissions. It does so brazenly and openly. And yet, the Department of Justice decided that preventing racial discrimination did not fit within the purview of the Biden DOJ. Now, in your defense, you were not yet there, neither was Merrick Garland. So that was merely the initial political operatives of the Biden administration doing what they believed was consistent with the preferences of the president. But just this week, after you were there, after Merrick Garland was there, the Department of Justice issued a mem memorandum to the FBI instructing them to mobilize against parents across the country, parents of school kids, who have the temerity to show up at school boards and express their opposition to the teaching of critical race theory, a pernicious theory that divides us on racial lines, that tells school children the lie that America is fundamentally racist, that America is irredeemably racist, that all white people are racist. It spreads racial division. Many parents are understandably quite dismayed at schools that are teaching this to their children, sometimes as young as five. And yet the Department of Justice looked at that issue and decided to label the parents objecting to this teaching as domestic terrorists. Did you participate in discussions about the memo before it was issued? Um, Senator, I can't talk about internal deliberations. You can't talk uh, about whether you, you participated in discussions about the memo? No, but what I can tell you is that the Civil Rights Division will play a role going forward. The Attorney General has uh, uh, asked the Department to undertake a review, and the Division will participate in that review to determine how federal enforcement tools can be used to prosecute uh, crimes. Do, do, um, do you believe parents objecting to the teaching of critical race theory have civil rights in the democratic process? Uh, I, I, don't un I don't follow the question, Senator. You don't understand the question whether parents objecting to critical race theory have civil rights? The, the First Amendment is a core value in our democracy. And, I, I didn't um, say free speech. I said civil rights. School board meetings are democratic. That, that they are petitioning your local government. Do they have civil rights that the voting rights gives a damn about? Yet they have the right to express their view, to uh, challenge uh, the school boards, to ask. And, and is it reforms. beneficial for the attorney general to label them as d domestic terrorists and direct the FBI to target them? The attorney general's memo deals with threats against public servants and says that threats against public servants are not only illegal, they run counter to our nation's core value. Do you believe parents objecting at school boards are domestic terrorists? I don't, Senator. Do you believe Antifa are domestic terrorists? Um, I, I, I don't have a view about Antifa. Or Do you believe the Black Lives Matter protesters who burned shops, who firebombed police cars, who murdered police officers, do you believe they're domestic terrorists? Um, Senator, I believe that we live in a society where people espouse different views, but what we don't want are threats You know, Ms. Clark, it is amazing that you're not willing to condemn people who are murdering police officers and firebombing cities because your politics aligns with them. But at the same time, when it comes to parents at school boards, you're perfectly comfortable with calling a mom at a PTA meeting a domestic terrorist. Ms. Clark, with all due respect, this demonstrates why the Democrat proposal to take someone with as long a partisan record as you have and to put you in charge of striking down any voting rights law in the country that you disagree with is nothing but a partisan power grab. Let me, let me give another example, because your division has operated in a purely partisan way. Uh, the Department of Justice dismissed the civil rights lawsuits against the state of New York, the state of Pennsylvania, the state of Michigan for those governor's policies that sent COVID-positive patients into nursing homes, Forces, force the nursing homes to take those patients, 
a decision, a political decision that resulted in tens of thousands of deaths. One of those governors, Andrew Cuomo, has now resigned in disgrace and his staff had admitted they lied under reporting the deaths that policy caused. And yet your division dismissed the lawsuit against those Democratic governors. How are, are we to see that as anything other than a purely partisan decision? The, the letters that uh, were issued to officials in the uh, matters that you referenced were put together by career officials inside the department. And career officials can't be partisan? This department carries out its work free from political Are, are you testified to this committee that there are no career officials in the Department of Justice who are partisan? Uh, partisanship does not impact the way that we carry out our Except enforcement Except miraculously, work. you dismiss the lawsuits against Democratic governors, even when their policies may have caused the deaths of tens of thousands of people. You also dismissed a lawsuit uh, that was brought against a medical center that had a pattern of discriminating against health care providers that, for conscience reasons, didn't want to implement abortions, even though clear federal law protects their civil rights. Why did you dismiss that civil rights lawsuit in, in contravention of federal law? Um, General Garland has made clear, and uh, I agree, that partisanship has no place in the enforcement Except every decision you make is partisan. Department. Your actions contradict those statements. 